Amanita brought you to the magical store where a mysterious seller offered you three ancient scrolls and a map for a treasure hunting journey. The sorceress helped you to get on board of the ship which was supposed to get you to your first location. However, the boat was attacked and Amanita called for help. The spirit of the place turned out to be a harpy who said that only one of you can be taken away. The bird brought you to the herbal healer's cabin in the Sharon swamps, where you learned a great deal about elixirs. At the same time, Amanita opened up a scroll that turned her into a mermaid. Thanks to that, she was safe. In the depths of the sea, she found a magical lamp, but unfortunately couldn't open it. Having wondered, Amanita came across a house on chicken legs with a peculiar occupant inside. The old lady offered to give a cue on how to open the lamp in exchange for a wish. Amanita agreed and called a magical genie. Yes. But I always thought that you rub the lamp and the genie comes out, not vice versa. Why? So we're inside the lamp. Kinda. Let's walk around. So you must fulfill my three wishes. Hey, witch. One wish is mine. Listen, what if she wants to possess the lamp and uses her wish to do so? It's impossible. The lamp chooses the owner. I thought you knew it. I never thought I could see something like this inside the lamp. What kind of a strange arena is it? So I have a right to give away my wish. Yes, you are the owner. Then why don't we get rid of Unpleasant and fulfill the old woman's wish first, and then go on with mine? Now about the wishes. There is a traditional way. You have three wishes, one you've already promised to give away, meaning that I fulfill your two wishes and we say goodbye. But there is another option. Endless wishes. What? What's the catch? For every wish that I fulfill, you fulfill mine. I don't have your abilities. Don't worry, I won't ask beyond your abilities. Never heard of such an option. What about the old woman? If I choose infinity, does she have to fulfill your wish? No, after I fulfill her wish, you fulfill mine. Great. So I rub the lamp to fulfill a genius wish. Yes, but remember, your wishes are unlimited. Nothing is unlimited. What if you are wrong? All right. I'll take a risk. Get the old woman. Your wish? You know my wish. Baggy. Learn to use it properly. I'm a mage. 
You're welcome. Well, I'm late to a ceremonial festival. It was nice to meet you. Now have a seat. Now, I want you to bring me an object which is located in the sacred prism hall. How do I get there? Like this. The item that I want is locked inside the cell. In order to get it, you have to solve several riddles. Why can't you do that yourself? Because only beings of your octi level may enter this place. What if I can't solve the puzzles? I will tell you just one thing. If you feel like you're losing, play by your own rules. Now go. What? There? Yes. Short Encyclopedia of Magical Deities. Let's see. Right. Oh, not enough magical powers to proceed. Oh, please. So this might be the main riddle to unlock the cell. Where do I start? Where do I start? Alam. 
breath. it. Something tells me there is the third one.
If you feel like you're losing, play by your own rules. If only I had my cards. Hello, useful baggie. 